What up, 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 world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button, and also tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And today we got a story coming out of Chicago where a 37 year old woman, Fallon Harris, um, has been accused of shooting her son. Uh, a 12 year old over a missing SD memory card. Uh, they say she shot him in the head multiple times in their Chicago home on Saturday morning. Prosecutors are alleging that they have security cameras inside the home that actually captured her pointing her gun at her son as she demanded he hand over the, the memory card. And when he said he didn't have it, that's when she shot him in the head. And they say the boy was conscious and crying after the first shot. And according to prosecutors, Harris allegedly took a phone call while her son was lying on the kitchen, on the kitchen floor, and then came back to demand the memory card again. She then shot her son in the head for a second time prosecutors are alleging which um in ultimately killed him um police were alerted by two family members who harris had called immediately after the shooting to allege to allegedly admit what she had done responding officers found the boy lying in the kitchen floor with multiple gun gunshot wounds uh he was pronounced, he was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. She's been charged with first degree murder. Um, she was refused bail during a brief court hearing where the judge ordered her to undergo mental health evaluation. Family members told investigators that the mother had been displaying paranoid behavior prior to the shooting. Prior to the shooting, the mother has a concealed carry license and owns two guns according to the prosecutors okay so this is a sad situation all the way around of course um definitely unfortunate for you know the 12 year old boy to have lost his life um and i know that they saying that as far as family is saying that um you know like the father he said you know she loved her son more than she loved her life and things like that um and that may be very well true. I'm not a person that doesn't, you know, I'm not a person that disrespects um, mental health and, and how serious and critical it is um, because everybody has a breaking point and a snapping point. Um, but what I will say, there is a special place for people like this who, um, if you are going through things like that, you need to seek help, you feel me, and they try to say, and I feel like it's more so the family that's trying to, you know, you know, cape for, you know, the mother as far as, you know, what's done is done, we can't take no more of a loss um, to losing, you know, losing her to, to prison or something, you know, um, yeah, I'm sure she probably did snap. And that is something to be held accountable. But at the same time, I don't have no, and this is just me personally, I don't have no remorse for people that target children. You know, um, yeah. And then just the fact that you as mother, you're supposed to protect them. And now for the family that's speaking out, saying how, how much she loved them and, how you guys knew that she had mental health issues, that she was dealing with paranoia and things like that. Um, the fact that you didn't intervene enough or care enough about this boy um, to get him out of that situation, out of that care, um, out of that harm potentially, which now we see cost him his life. So um, I can't blame y'all for her doing it right because y'all didn't actually put a trigger or kill. So 
that's why I'm going to hold her accountable. It's a special place for people like this, you know. Um, and you see what you see what will happen and in, in how God would deal with them if that's what you choose to believe in. But me personally, um, it's all about protecting the children first and foremost. First and foremost, you know, protect the children, you know. Um, and then, you know, we got the women, the the elderly and, and things like that. But at the same time, the children are, are the most precious. Um, they the most innocent. So for you guys to sit there on news platforms and, and speak about how, you know, she don't deserve what she going through. I, I didn't really see nobody, you know, outside of the father. You know, I didn't really see nobody really speaking on how he deserved to live another day, you know. So clearly y'all wasn't taking it serious to where. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it's easy for a person to say they snap and, oh, I, I, w I need to go through a mental health evaluation. No, she has a, a license to carry a concealed weapon. You know, I know our our government is is laxadaisical with a lot of things, but I'm not certain that they're gonna just you know give somebody who they feel like is not ment mentally capable to to actually carry a, a firearm or possess one you know they gonna just give it out like that so um yeah it's unfortunate maybe she was tired of her son maybe she i mean i don't know and this is why like speaking to the father um you know this is like one of those things where you know um i can't imagine what he going through you feel me I couldn't imagine, you know, so, you know, I definitely want to, you know, give my respect to him as far as what he got to deal with, because this is somebody he chose to, you know, have kids with, be with, if, I don't know if they together or not still, they don't got the same last name, so I would assume they're not married, um, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, uh, this little boy didn't have to die over, uh, um, SD card, and then the fact that you didn't even have no regard for the fact that he 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 was already shot, dying, and he still was a fighter enough to where he could have he probably could have survived because he was still able to tell you, "Mom, no, I don't have it," and you just shoot him again and, and end his life. You know, I think I think that's just whew, that's deep. You know, I mean, a lot of people might think that my opinion on this is is a little harsh or or um, don't have no type of you know empathy or sympathy for the mother and what she may have been going through. But I, I'm I I don't know I don't know. Um, but anyway, y'all like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Big M Dog said, "What's the deal?" Uh, let me know what y'all think, you know, um, should the family have intervened a lot sooner than waiting to, you know, they got news cameras outside of the, 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 the home where the victim was, you know, murdered at, you know, um, yeah, we, I, I, we got to hear more details cause who knows what, what was really going on? Was the system involved? You know, was, why would the, why wasn't the father, you know, more involved, you know, it's a bunch of questions that I got, you know, but yeah, I'll meet y'all down there in the comments and then we'll see what the deal is, uh, protect your children, you know, peace.